I'd really like to talk to someone. That's why I'm here. Ma always said I was a good listener. Uh-huh. Village is this way. Get the door. Huh. Peaceful. Never thought I'd see where my family came from. Even with all the stories and memories she shared. Grad never told me why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. Guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. Not every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. That music sounds like quite a party. Everyone must be gathered in that hall over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on then. Hello? Should we just be barging in like that? Relax, Lonnie's basically family here. So Hannah, been meaning to ask. You any relation to the coal trade? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious is all. <laughs> Getting the sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean, yes. He's my dad. Just please, please don't ask me about thrash ball. I find it tedious. Disco. You know I saw him play, but that ain't what I remember him for. Man to legend. A true definition of the cog frontline hero. Yeah, you aren't wrong, Keegan. That's what everyone sees in my father. I wanted to be just like him. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, the coal train was a quiet man. Thoughtful, even. His introspection about the war kept me far from the military. He wanted more from me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one Saren with an education could do more to turn the tide of war than a single grunt with a gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah, mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. Had books out my ass. Interesting. No, oh, I loved it. I think it was a distraction to keep me away from what my dad was interested in. War. Sports. And I still don't want to talk about thrash ball. How'd you meet Hoffman? Through dad. Hoffman had the idea for this special project after what happened to the Hope. He got his hands on the new Hope toxin, but needed a specialist to do anything with it. And so, here I am, working on a plan to save the world. You know, Hoffman's been working on this plan for a long time. But when I first got here, he mostly rolled around in his wheelchair yelling out the window. He really hates the First Minister.
All right. Let's hope there's someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. Sounds like we're missing out. Let's get in there. Oh, oh no. Everyone's gone. Looks like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? Hey, Lonnie. Take a look at this. All this imagery around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Gran taught me why Lehan. But I can try. This scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The mantle. A terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden, but let it not feed. Journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. Spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. Fear. Awaken. Reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden. Transformed, light as the feather. Face the creature. Ha! Huh. Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? Feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu, a flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes, the Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here. We'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio. Through here. Let's get this door open. Come on, Hannah! 
of the villagers. Where'd they go? They have more use for us alive, buddy. Those any pods here, though. They take them somewhere. A defensible structure. That temple up on the ridge. We can still save them. Let's go. You doing okay, Hannah? <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm good. We've got your back. That's right. Thanks, guys. Ammo deployed. <laughs> Looks like they put up a fight. Good. We're not too late. Let's go. There are stories of people who've survived being snatched and potted. But we need to be prepared for the reality that those chances are often slim. I'm not giving up on them. Let's get to the temple.
last of them. This just doesn't make sense. Even the locusts couldn't throw her between the islands. That's why Sanctum was built on Dohanu. How did they get to Alehi? from the Wakatu and brought them here. No pods, though. No bodies. some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Bahanu when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Wakatu. But right now, we need to find the villagers. Could be further into the village. Help me out here. Even one day too late. One day makes all the difference. They're gone. We couldn't save them. So, what the hell are we going to do about it? Make the fuckers pay! Now we're on the same page, sister. Come on! Hunter! Oh, God, Make it scream! 
Rolling over Hoffman at full speed if he hears about this little outing. We'll hunt every last one of them down. Give me a hand. God damn. Look what we've got here. A silverback. I think we can put that wee death machine to good use, eh, Scorpio? Could do a lot of damage with this thing. If it had power. Mac, can you help out? On it, Keegan.
We're making this right. With every inch of ground we take back. Definitely feeling the need for a win here. Saved a few of them, but even one. Just a bit further. I'm right behind you. 